Good morning, you gleaming bin of bounty. Beakley? I feel I should prepare you for what's out there. How bad can they be? Lid left off the peanut butter. Errant roller skate left on the stairway. <laughs> An elaborate series of cutthroat war games. <laughs> Take that! Dewey! Go and yell at your target before you fire. You'll lose the element of surprise. <laughs> When I said you should spend more time with your family, I did not mean move them in. <laughs> Target acquired. You said traps? It's just a game! If you're not a player, you're a pawn. Well, Webby, maybe take it down a notch. Tell that to my menu caster in Peking! What? It's part of my character's backstory. Grizzled ex-special forces pulled out of retirement for revenge. What's yours? My guy has a dart gun? Not anymore. Ah! Ha -ha! <laughs> the foyer is the safe zone! The foyer is the safe zone! Ah! This is no foyer. This is a tomb. Oh, my tailbone! <laughs> a tomb. <laughs> Sir, this is out of control. Kids will be kids. For everyone's happiness, we've all got to make sacrifices. Um, that's a pano. House meeting. No. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. All right, time for some house rules. Rule one, my space is my space. My study, my sleeping quarters, my washroom. Rule two, defer to Mrs Beakley for all subsequent rules. I'm pleased to have you here as long as it in no way inconveniences me. Good day. This may be Mr. McDuck's mansion, but it's my house, so... My house rules. Exhaustive. Comprehensive. Where are you going? I'm gonna mention the most of uh, Rule 58. If you need something, ask for permission first. Did you hear that, boys? Ask permission. Rule number 23. No one is above the rules, Donald. If you had simply asked for assistance, we could have avoided what I'm referring to as the undergarment. Incident. <laughs> I get to tell about love. That is not your decision to make. You live here, you answer to me. I want you to do that. Wait, are they gonna kiss? Oh, no. no. Outside, yeah. now. Death darts was fun. Again, just supposed to be darts. Oh, what do you want to play next? Mystery Murder Island? Cannonball Fury? How about a nice, safe nap? Oh, how about Sacky Sack? <laughs> or we could go have some real fun. You mean, I do, dear Duford. It's time for Funzo's Fun Zone! What's that? 
only the greatest place one could ever imagine imagining! Where your dreams become reality, and reality becomes some crazy kind of hyper dream! Where punch refills are free! Fun Zone's Fun Zone, where fun is in the zone! Oh yeah, that Fun Zone's, of course! <laughs> Everyone knows Fun Zone's! Let's go, boys! Oh, well, have fun! You coming? What? Yeah! Let me get my stuff! I don't know. Webby's great for treasure hunting and minecart chases, but she's not exactly built for everyday kid stuff. I still see the darts when I close my eyes. She's been cooped up in a mansion her whole life. Of course she's gonna be a little off, but we can help her. She'll be fine. All right, Webby. Just a totally casual hangout in the real world, like regular kids do. Play it cool. Yeah, play it cool. several fire hazards. If you had checked with me, I could have provided safe electrical hookups. I'm good. And how would you like to split the water bill? Let's get it doubled. Let's spell again. Keep your water. bus before, right? Absolutely! So, is it a sign seating or a... Don't talk to anybody, don't touch anything, don't lick anything, don't go near the emergency brake! Sorry. It, it's fine. It's just a short walk to Funzo's. Through the sketchiest neighborhood in town. <sighs> Bet it's a faster run! Race ya! Uh, wrong way. Whoop! Hey, was that the McDuck Brats? Let's get him. Uh uh. Burger's right. Ma told us we's only supposed to take down the truck. Oh, forget the truck. That's the payday. Think big. Sorry, Carl. Same time next month. Ah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> ah. <gasps> fun zones, fun zone. Where fun is in the zone. Oh! <laughs> 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 Pizza? <laughs> Games? A pit of balls? <gasps> Sweet Webigail, ball pits are for babies. Walk with me. You're in the zone now. If you want to get by in this world, you gotta know the people who make it spin. Josie, new token apron? Nice. <laughs> Your usual table, sir. Merci, Toby. Webby, your money is no good here. What do they take? I have pounds, pesos, ruples. The oldest currency in the world. Ancient obsidian runestones? No, flattery. <clears throat> I can't tell. Is that the heat lamps or your natural glow? Oh, Mr. Duck, the usual. Yep, one free cup for water, please. That's not water! It's all part of the system. You try. Hey, yo, uh, Jenny. It's Jane. I'm Webby. I was hoping you could hook a gal up with one of those free water cups. You know, 
for fruit punch. You sure you don't want it for water? Yes, for water. Fruity water that really packs a punch. Am I right? I, I don't know what you mean. I mean fruit punch. There's a problem here. What did I tell you about handing out freebies, Jane? You pay for that punch, duck. Yeah, I was just about to. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Special delivery for D Duck. Come around back. Talk about jigglers. Keep your problem, Mrs. B. I'm not giggling. That idiot is going to get himself killed. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to Funzo's! There's no place finer, but all cool adults must be accompanied by a minor! Ba blam ba blam! You buying this? or puke. Behold, the best game ever created. Japanese import, there's only one in the US and I have the top 10 scores, so I'm pretty much the best in the country. You gotta try this. I don't know. I've never actually played a um, computer game. Uh, you, you play an instrument? Oh, I had seven years of cello. Same thing. <laughs> Oh! Your first drum. Cherish it. Yoi! Don! Dame da! Dame dame! Yes! Yes! Be one with the flow! Dame te kudasai! I am both puking and puking! Time! Stranger's in danger! Let me know! No, no! Don't you die on me! Dame da! Dame dame! My scores! No! It's like I don't even know you anymore. We could put your nephew up in a hotel in New Zealand. No time, guest baths are calling. Beakly problem. Oh. Ow. Room for three more? You guys aren't mad I ruined Funzo's? Please, Funzo's is a place of magic and wonder and light. Think fast! <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Nope, you're fine. It's a trap! <laughs> I'm Webby. You are banned from Funzo's for life. No, please. I've never been kicked out of anything. And this is why I said we shouldn't bring her. So thanks, Dewey. Funzo. Take them out. With pleasure. Come on. <laughs> you can't come in without a child. No! <gasps> Everybody out! This is it, Mom. The big payday. The perfect scam. The Save it! What's so important that I don't see an armored car parked out front? May I present our new meal ticket? Scrooge McDuck's family! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
And how did you manage this? Well, we cornered him, we captured him, and we sent him a ransom note. You did what? How did someone so brilliant raise such morons? I think she's talking about you. But, but, but Scrooge will pay a fortune to get them ankle biters back. You think he got to be the richest duck in Duckburg by paying people off? You just painted four twerp-sized targets on our backs. Bouncer, burger, go wait outside. What about me, Ma? Ah! Oh! You're on a timeout, mister! Who are these guys? The Beagle Boys. They hate your uncle. Try to break into the mansion all the time. Are they gonna ransom us? Scrooge will never pay for all four of us. No, oh, you're right. They'll probably throw one of us off a cliff to send Scrooge a message. Ah! <laughs> Scrooge! The kids! The Beagle Boys! Wait. Something's wrong. Much better. <laughs> it be a brick. I don't. Look who's finally coming to ask for my. <laughs> what is a funzo? Don't capture Scrooge's brats, big time. Don't stick up the policeman's ball, big time. Tanks don't float, big time. She always treats me like the odd man out because my ideas are too intense, visionary. Well, I'll show her. I'll show them all. Well, that's not something you want to hear when you're tied up in a meat locker. Starting with you. Webby! Oops, sorry. I'll just... You could slip out of those ropes the whole time? Well, yeah. That's like being captured 101. So why didn't you? Because I don't want you to think I'm weird. I've been stuck in the mansion for so long that I'm trying really hard to be normal. But everything I do is, you know, not. Normal's overrated. We need you to be webby normal. I'm gonna break every bone in her body. Or maybe just tie her up. We'll see how it plays out. Boys, McDuck's highfalutin hooligan Beakley is coming here to take you down. Are you gonna let her? Ooh. No, you are not. Beakley may be strong, ruthless, and unforgiving, but you are the Beagle Boys, my boys. It's time to mark your territory. Do it for your dear old Ma. Dear Ma Beagle, if you ever want to see your son again, oh, for crying out loud. You take care of them. I'll deal with the squirts. Beagle boys are sloped quite large. I'll take the big one and Donald? <laughs> No. I guess he can take care of himself. No! Come on, kid. I don't have time for games. Then you're in the wrong place. Funzo's funzo, where the fun is in the Run me. You know how many two foot terrors I chased around the junkyard. But I'm not outrunning you. Whee! I'm leading you. Whoa! <laughs> I'm 
Ma. Seriously, big time? <clears throat> Whoa, what the? Stupid plastic garbage. Wait, no, stop. It's a trap. I know, right? Now! A slip stitch. Good choice, dear. Thanks, Granny. It's okay, Ma. I tried. And that's what matters, right? Shut up, big time. Why can't we have what they have? Now, flip the circuit on the boat's panel and you'll have power. Thanks, Mrs. B. Hey, how does a housekeeper know so much about electricity and taekwondo? Oh, simple. I'm a spy. <laughs> <laughs> nice of Funzos to lift the ban and give us all those free tokens, you know, to keep us from suing them. Yep, the system works. So, what should we do next? I don't know. Webby, what do you want to play? Really? You mean it? Any crazy thing you want. Oh, how about a nice game of Medieval Dungeon of Eternal Screaming? I'm, I'm a Webby's team! team. sinking in quicksand. Webby, please don't tell me how to die. Don't <laughs> worry. I've read all about the ancient pyramids. I'll show you the ins and outs. <coughs> Would love to focus on the outs. <laughs> I was right. The tomb of Toth Ra, bringer of the sun. I've been searching for decades. <laughs> Launchpad. Mm. Did you want a bite? This is the last of the lost pyramids. Show some respect. Sorry, Mr. McD. Oh, man! What if there's a whole army of mummies down here? Unlikely. Mummification was an expensive process meant for royalty. It'd be rare for more than one mummy. Tothra was pretty rich. I bet there's at least six. Rich? What are we talking? Jewels? Antiquities? What? Pharaohs from this period were typically entombed with treasure, servants, jars full of vital organs. Ignoring the bad parts. See you in the treasure room. Whee! Careful! That was pretty anticlimactic. Mummies! By me, they could be dangerous. Speak, you ancient miscreants! Hey, what's up? Hey, if those are mummies, I'd hate to see daddies, am I right? 
Greetings, minions of Tothra! We are Scrooge McDuck and family. Hey, if you guys are mummies, then I'd hate to see... Mm. And associates from the outside. <gasps> Outsiders. We mean you no harm. If you could just show us where your sacred treasure room oh, is. <laughs> You'll forgive the lad. We're just used to the mummies in pyramids being, well, uh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> not mummies. We merely dress in this manner to honor our powerful and fashion-forward leader. I am Amunet, leader of the descendants of the servants of Pharaoh Tothra. For thousands of years, our families have served the Pharaoh, and our society has thrived. I give you a good deal. Buy my sand. Buy my sand. Buy from me. <laughs> thrived isn't the word I'd use. Living mummies? There's something you don't see every day, eh, Webby girl? Webby? <gasps> Louie! They must have gone down the other chute into the Pharaoh's forbidden chamber. Forbidden? Oh, no! Lucky! The poor bairns must be scared out of their wits. This is heaven! Oh. The ruby Ark of Netherhotep! Who shot the army of Xerxes III! <gasps> A prophecy! To those who serve the Pharaoh Tothra, he brings golden reward. But beware all those who cross him. <gasps> and then something I can't quite translate. Something about a curse? Being stuck here for all eternity? Fine by me! Mm, best not to touch anything until we find Mr. McDuck. Let's go! Or maybe we stay here! It's a room full of treasure! Scroogey's gonna find it! Good thinking! Still, don't touch... Well, hello! <sighs> Anything. And that's my hut, and that's the public waste hole. They're awful close to each other. It does not smell great, but Almighty Tothra decreed this is where I am to live. Oh, and here's the Temple of Tothra! <laughs> See here, Amunet, my kids are trapped. Now you take me to the Pharaoh this instant. No need. The Pharaoh will be here soon. Bless me, bagpipes. Your Pharaoh. He has accepted our offering. It is time for our golden reward. I give you the sun. That's it? Wait! Get back here! Great day, everyone. If we skip meals and start harvesting right now, maybe he'll bring us a full hour of sun tomorrow. You know a mummy doesn't actually bring you the sun, right? The earth spins on its axis, creating... Aw, not the sharpest sickle in the shed, are you, kid? I've got a junior woodchuck badge and sickle sharpening that says otherwise. You should really leave that alone. Basic rule of treasure hunting. If it might be cursed, don't touch it. You said you weren't sure what the prophecy meant. No, but I am sure it said the golden reward is for those who serve Tothra. I am serving him by cleaning up. This place is a mess of treasure. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe we better... Ooh, what's in this weird jar, huh? <gasps> uh, 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 do not look in those jars. Oh, a kidney! Intruders! We brought that kidney from home, I swear! Yeah, let me in, you decomposing degenerate! Those who enter the Pharaoh's chamber never return! What? Oh, no! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, too much? Isn't there some way you can help us? I suppose we could just rise up against the all-powerful Tothra, bringer of the Golden Sun. Yes, that! Do that! Why? We've got food, water, fresh bandages in lieu of pay, a kind and merciful god king. What's the outside got that we don't? Tothra has got you working night and day. Well, you barely got enough to scrape by. He doesn't bring you the sun. He keeps it from you. <gasps> Sorry, it's just not our way. Don't you want to feel the sun on your face? Meh. 
The wind in your hair. Not really. Don't you want freedom? Or glory? Or launch pad? Oh, sorry. I didn't want my belly to grumble and interrupt your big speech. Like I am right now. It's bad enough you goof around during the greatest archaeological find of our time. But... Uh... Oh, what is that? Oh, this burrito? Just rice, beans, cheese, your choice of meat, wrapped in a delicious tortilla. Mmm, 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 delicious. Oh, where do we get this burrito? Outside, where freedom is! Burritos are outside? We must have burritos! Rise up against the mighty Tathra! Seriously? That's what they are? Oh, never mind. Let's break into that temple! Burrito! Never should have ignored a prophecy. We crossed the pharaoh and now we're doomed. Silence! But we didn't cross the pharaoh. It was just some lowly guard. Feels like a technicality. As long as you could talk, you could talk your way out. Trademark Louis Duck. Oh, this whole thing is a silly mistake. You were stealing treasure. <gasps> I would never. I'm a new pharaoh in town. Maybe you've heard of me. Lou Rai, master of all pharaohs, basically your boss's boss. You should just let us go before I get angry. I'll never buy that. Pharaoh of pharaohs, huh? There shall be none above Tofra! Ah! Into the pit of eternal screams! I never thought I'd die in a pit of spikes. I mean, I always hoped. Prepare to scream. Eternally! Or until you hit the bottom. Wait a second! You can't do that because because I have a really good reason! And my reason is this! Because you've got to perform the proper ceremony first! I don't see any mummification tools, no Book of the Dead. Are you even a certified high priest? Well, no, but I... There has to be a high priest in attendance! Everyone knows that! Well, I definitely knew that! Just check the scroll if you don't believe us! Bye! Hey! Wow, that was quick thinking on that phony sacrifice stuff. Oh, that was all real. Wait, you were trying to help him kill us? If I'm gonna be sacrificed, I'm gonna do it right. Pretenders, get back here! At least my thing helped. Every time you ignore the rules and pull a Louie, we end up in more trouble. Because the rules of this place are nonsense, like this. Bird, bird, different bird, snake, leaf, nonsense! Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's... Huh. Actually, this doesn't make sense. This bird is facing the wrong way. Secret passage! Yes! All right, troops. It won't be easy, but we'll whip you into shape. Defeat that gauze wrapped reprobate Tothra and save Louie and Webby. Show them what we got, boys! Good, good. Work on that shamble, Horace. Nice groan, Seth. What is this? What's more terrifying than an army of mummies limping towards you? You realize Tothra is a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to one, people. New strategy. What do you know about Frankensteins? And then we come at Tothra from both sides. But what about his laser beam eyes? You've seen these laser eyes. No, but he is all-powerful. Fine. We cause a diversion and sneak around back. But his scarab spies will tell him we're coming. Since when does he have scarab spies? Since whenever he wants. For he is Tothra, the almighty, all-powerful! Uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. One, two, three, and four, again! Attaboy, Launchpad! Good to see you're finally taking things seriously. Fill, fold, roll, and tuck. Real burrito fillings are a lot messier than these practice ones. If you can't tuck those ends, how are you ever going to make to the combination menu? We're going to die down here. Now we just follow this trail and we are back where we started. Louie's on it. How was your day, darling? I missed you. Stop touching everything! I'm trying to get out the way we came in. Plus, we get this sweet souvenir. Hey, I think I saw a skeleton over there. Really? Oh, no, no, no time. The prophecy says we'll be cursed if... If we cross Tothra. But that can mean anything. Besides, the dumb pharaoh isn't even here.
Who dares disturb my chamber? Uh, I'm Webby. <laughs> And what are we going to do? Anything he asks! No! You're going to stand up for yourselves while I rescue my kids! Right, but if we attack Kafra and he tells us to surrender, we should do that, right? We've spent our lives blindly serving Tothra. Now we're trying to change our whole way of life for the promise of a simple boar ito. This is not just about a simple burrito. Huh? It's about all kinds of burritos. Yeah! Wet burritos. Yeah! Breakfast burritos. Yeah! Some people even put french fries in their burritos. This is the dumbest rebellion I have ever been part of. Great. We crossed Tothra by messing with the stuff and now we're done for. Oh, why do you always have to work an angle? Good idea. No, wait! Tothra! Barolurai from next door! I am Tothra, commander of the sun. Do hate to pull rank, chief, but uh, I'm commander of the whole universe, which kind of includes the sun, so... Impossible! Uh, come forth so that I may smite you, fine pretender! No, you come over here so I can smite you. Never! You come over here because I am going to smite you! So hard! Get away from there! Uh, I am ordering that guard to control me with my awesome pharaoh powers! Ah, fine, you got me. How is this part of the prophecy? Webby, it's not a prophecy, it's a con! How long have you been running this pyramid scheme? My ancestor was Tothra's personal guard. He was supposed to protect him till he awakened in here. But he never woke up. So, to give everyone hope, he set up this rig so the Pharaoh could fulfill his promise to bring the people their golden reward. Wait, the golden reward is just the sun? That's lame. And your family decided to keep tricking the people so they'd worship you and do your bidding. Uh, but the prophecy, the mummy. All fake. Uh, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone. Oh, don't worry, Webs. You'll get ripped apart by a real mummy someday. Pharaoh Tothra! Your people demand freedom! To eat barbacoa! But mostly the freedom part. Now, release my family! Hey, how did you... I, I mean... Uh, you dare intrude upon the Pharaoh? Loyal followers! The guard has crossed me! Take him away! Mr. McDuck? Webby! Where's Louie? Be free, my people! Ooh, and pack up the treasure! It is prophesied that you will one day give it to a young, handsome duck dressed all in green! Never mind, I found him. Or just give it to me! You know, I shall give it to the charming young man myself! So, so. A prophecy! I know! I, I just couldn't translate this last glyph. It says, beware all those who cross Tothra past this point. Yes! The mummy is real! <laughs> oh, right, yeah, that's a bad thing. <laughs> Attack 
coincidence. That beetle could have said anything. And a flapping about you, towering tatty bogle. Let my children go up! Mr. McDee! Launchpad! Launchpad! No, launchpad! Is he okay? Don't lose hope! Remember the burritos! When a burrito falls apart, you've got to put it in a bowl and eat it with a fork! Or, uh, grab some tortilla chips and make nachos, I guess! Uh, is any of this making sense? This was never about burritos. It wasn't. It's about freedom to make a choice. A choice bigger than beef or veggies. We've lived our whole lives toiling in the service of the Pharaoh. Now we get to choose for ourselves. And what do we want? Burritos! Wow, okay then. Charge! <laughs> off on the wrong foot here. I can help you. You know, with a little buzz and some FaceTime at the right crips, I could make you bigger than Tut, man. Would you believe that this is all a dream? Fine. Look, I'm just a scared kid who talked himself into a problem that he can't get out of, okay? There's no more rule bending. Let's just do this your way. I am your humble servant. What can I do for you, almighty tough Ra? Oh, man. Louie! If we can get him back across the seal, maybe he'll stop trying to destroy everyone! How are we gonna get a ten-foot mummy back across the seal? By offering him a golden reward! <gasps> Just like Launchpad taught you, fell, fold, roll, and tuck! <sighs> That's the biggest burrito I've ever seen. Ah! The Sun God is angry! Everyone back inside! Oh, <laughs> never mind. So, what are you gonna do now you're free? We'll take 100 quesadillas, 55 tostadas, and 200 burrito especiales, please. Oh, well, this is embarrassing. This one's on me. That will be $9,000. My money. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Mr. McDee. I'll get you back. Then we found a secret tunnel, then we awoke the cursed mummy, and then we almost died again. Hey, Webby, thanks for saving my life a bunch back there. I'll try to listen to you next time and not, you know, pull a Louie. Seriously, that's a thing now? It's all about branding. Launchpad, bringer of the burrito, as thanks we bestow upon ye the golden kopesh of Tothra. Hey, thanks. And Scrooge, mighty warrior, as thanks for helping us see the light, pun intended, we give you this. This is actually not bad at all. Now set your eyes to auto, cause you're watching the Ottoman Empire All Day Marathon! Yay, yay, yay Overpriced artisanal furniture! Living room protocol, use a coaster. And must you fill the fine china with cheesy puffs? 
Cherry pep, Mrs. B. <laughs> Greetings, Agent 22. Black Heron. Rough job, but when the going gets tough, the, the tough get tough thing. Morning, Mr. McDuck. Oh, uh, good morning, Webigil. Where's your granny? She didn't bring up my nutmeg tea this morning. Oh, I can make your tea. What? That's really not. Uh, all right. It's one droplet of milk. A light stir, not to fillet dissolve the nutmeg. Oh, and don't worry, it's the same tea bag we've been using all month. Mmm. Ah, taste the savings. How do you know? Oh, I know everything about you. Um, wouldn't you rather be with the boys? You know, unicorns. This book says you've encountered one. Warrior poets that can impale their enemies. Are they the best? Oh, want me to get your breakfast? Uh, I'll get it myself. <gasps> Great sacks of delirium! Maybe Donald try to make an omelette again? Impossible. He still hasn't figured out how to get out of the pantry. <laughs> It can't be. Oh, Agent 22. Wonderful, you're early. We can begin with Director the... Von Drake, I've been reading the Black Heron case file. Very intriguing. According to our intelligence, she's a real bad egg. Martial artist, robotics engineer, and chemist turned counter agent. Yes, and apparent... Apparently, she's after the last page of the legendary Great Book. The page was recently unearthed at Castle Dunwin. Right, and it is said to contain... It is said to contain a dangerous secret. Well, did you know that she is working for... I bet you that Fowl is behind this. That's the Fiendish Organization for World Larceny. The page is up for auction tonight here in London. Heron will make a play for it then. Unless we can get it first. Well, if you were so smart, you would know that this is an exclusive high-class auction. Luckily, we have acquired a VIP invitation, thanks to a wealthy freelance operative. Wait, what? Agent 22, meet your new partner, McDuck. Scrooge McDuck. Brah! <laughs> <laughs> Had a late night catching that pesky Jack the Tripper, and there was some celebrating afterwards. <laughs> you mind returning these to the Queen? Mm. Now, on to the super secret secret agent equipment. Already have a cane. Ho, 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 not like this. Meet the Von Drake Action Cane PPK, equipped 
but a number of unique gadgets, which, if used not correctly, could kill you instantly. Yeah, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Let's roll 22! Adventure away! Oh, uh... <laughs> that was the not correctly I was talking about. By a all day marathon! I'm off for a little trip. Uncle Donald's in the pantry if you need anything. If I don't come back, it's been a pleasure knowing you all. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. So, where are we going? We are going nowhere. But you are going to save Granny, aren't you? If she's in trouble, I want to help. She would want you safe at home. That's final. There you are. We'll be arriving in a couple hours, Mr. McD. Remember, this trip needs to remain a secret launch pad. No one should know where we're going. Where are you? Ready for some action, Kane? What are you doing here? The action cane? That black feather? Those coordinates? That can only mean an Agent 22 McDuck spy adventure! Oh, with Granny missing, can I be your partner on this one? Please give me a chance. I'm trained in espionage, counter-espionage. I'm super good at secret keeping. Hmm, we're too far to turn back now, but you'll be safe on the sub. <laughs> Sorry, blindfold slipped. Still no clue where we are. On second thought. I can come! First ever ready to duck team up! This is not a normal adventure. You'll need to follow my lead. Now just follow my lead. My duck. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let's start our bidding with the lost page from the Great Book, a priceless artifact for medieval enthusiasts. So what's on it exactly? Alchemy, formulas for potions and elixirs. Legend has it that the high priests of Castle Dunwin were mentored by mystical creatures from the nearby glen. Creatures with untold powers. Untold powers? Yes, if you believe that sort of thing. Foul seems to. How do you know so much about all this? Untold chaos, dark artifacts, a man has his hobbies. <laughs> There's Black Heron. Stick to the plan. Outbid her. Win the page. Shall we start the bidding at £25,000? Do I have 25? 25. Do I hear 50,000? We are at 50,000. And 60,000. 70,000. Do I hear 80, anyone? You, sir, the sweaty grump in the derby. What are you doing? Bid. The agency only gave me 60,000. What? You expect me to chip in myself? You are a billionaire. And sold for 70,000 to the lovely young woman who appears to be jumping out the window. And now we can steal it from her for free. I just saved Shush a lot of money. You are welcome. I know you think this is just a fun little excursion, but listen. Yep, super serious. Got it. Aw, look at its jaunty hat. Pip, pip to you, mysterious orb. Why the kill quiet? Protocol 414. Don't arouse suspicion. Maintain camouflage. Yeah. <laughs> the Lair's Guard. It spotted us. That thing? <laughs> Don't underestimate its adorable appearance. It's actually an elite killing machine, not some adorably jovial globule. I know! That's a vintage series 2 to Bubble C20! Filled with Insidium! It'll ignite anything it lands on! So cool! You know, most kids wouldn't get this excited about impending doom. Louis mostly just cries. Ah! What are you... Gassing it from incendium to helium! I haven't seen a manoeuvre that impressive since... 
Next time, read the file. If you know your situation, then you know how to conquer it. W what is it? Strange berry bushes. They don't look native to the island. Could be poisonous. <gasps> oh. They weren't. What is wrong with you? There are rules! Protocol! Loosen up, 22. You've got to be willing to make things up as you go along. I didn't get this far in life by following the rules. <laughs> Great. And now you're dying. <laughs> Worse. i got a stem caught in my throat. <clears> throat> anyway, onward. What is it now? Should we have a battle cry to strike fear in our enemies? Uh, what do you have in mind? Get ready to lose bad baddies! No, what she said. <laughs> Just had to yell a battle cry, didn't you? <laughs> 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 A blasted bucket of oats. Let's wallop! Oh, that was going to be so impressive. Anyway, shall we? We have to chase after that last robot. No loose ends. Yeah, we won't be seeing him again. Ah, this how are you still functioning? Shall we? Oh, this is worse than when they were alive. Impressive. All those years in my house, we should have done something like this sooner. Granny always told me to never bother you. If you wanted to do something, you'd come to me. But you were always so busy with your business and your grumbling. But I was busy, too, with Granny's training and my research about you. So, you know, we both had our own things going on. I guess you could say I've been prepping for a McDuck Agent 22 adventure my whole life. <laughs> you know so much about me, and I feel I know so little about you. Oh, come on. You know about me. Like, my favorite color is... Pink! And my favorite booby trap is spike pits. Favorite storm is tropical cyclone meets thunder snow. I know your favorite drink. Nutmeg Juice! tea. But I saw you down a whole pot, not this morning. Ah, oh no, that, that, that was just to impress you. I kind of can't stand it. Juice, you see. Well, I'll get it right next time. I promise. Oh, Heron's lab. McDuck, where are you? McDuck? What do we have here? Good afternoon, world leaders. This is Black Heron of Fowl. Regrets if you haven't heard of me. But I've gotten very well acquainted with your Agent 22. Huh? After meticulous... My back molar is rigged with a distress signal. Shush will be coming for me. And you, Heron. Excuse me? I'm in the middle of filming my declaration of harmful intent. Where was I? Oh, yes. After meticulous, frankly ingenious planning, I have obtained history's greatest biological weapon. With a completed formula, I will breed an army of super soldiers that will bounce to the highest peaks of corruption. <laughs> Did you just say bounce? Who is this? Is he with you? Unfortunately. You're making a bounce serum. The untold powers of the ancient creatures is bouncing. Yes, they'll be bouncing here and there and everywhere. Mass destruction that's beyond compare. <laughs> Stop laughing! 
I have wasted an entire reel of film and you're not even entirely in frame. What are you doing? Fighting a deadly supervillain, apparently. You're out of your league. I could try a coupling gambit. 22! Little help! I'm working out a plan. I've got a plan! Just do something! But... But how did you defeat Black Heron? He didn't. Where's my grin? Easy, lass. This one's out of your league. Nobody's out of our league, Mr. McDuck. We can take her! Wendy, we need to... Wake up! Mm -hmm. I can't believe you. What is my granddaughter doing here? On a shush assignment of all things. She's just a little girl. I know. Silence! I've waited so long for this, 22. Decades lying in hiding, tracking you down, rebuilding this place, rebuilding myself. But this time, 22, I'm better prepared. World domination can wait. This. <laughs> This is sweet revenge. Now, tell me the formula. <laughs> it was years ago. How am I supposed to remember? Wait, what are you... Come, come, 22. Protocol dictates you memorize all mission-related data, and you're even more fastidious than I am. So you have three-tenths of a second to respond, or... Don't do it! <gasps> Six handfuls of red berries, four orange berries, three purple berries, four blue berries, three green berries, and one yellow berry. In that order. Bentina. <laughs> Finally, the powers of the ancients are mine. You're deranged, Heron. Would you please not interrupt the... <laughs> no, no, 22, you won't throw me off my game this time. I am prepared for every eventuality. <laughs> now, the child was a bit of an X-factor, but she will be the cherry on this sweet revenge. Leave her out of this, Heron! She's just a defenseless girl. She has no place here. A damsel in distress is what she is. It was a mistake to bring a hapless hellion. She should be at home with her pink booze, enjoying a glass of her favorite tea. I don't like tea. I like... <gasps> This bores me. Time to move on to the revenging. <laughs> what are you, child? That's Webby Vanderduck, my new partner. Yeah, but it's actually Vander. <laughs> Protocol 78, get your opponent to underestimate your partner. Clever! How do you know she could pull it off? Your granddaughter is full of surprises.
launch pad. Take us home. Roger that. Going in blind. Oh, that was so amazing! Agent 22 and McDuck back in action! But, but hey, what did happen in that first battle with Black Heron? Just do something! Dash it all. This is disconcerting! What is happening? You will pay for that! Twenty-two. You just broke protocol for me. For the mission. And you. Partner. Whoop! Time to go! No! I have the feeling I'm going to be cleaning up a lot of your messes from here on out, Agent McDuck. Call me Scrooge. Bentina Beakley. Whoa! I can't believe I'm now part of an actual McDuck Agent 22 adventure! Thank you, Mr. McDuck. Call me Uncle Scrooge. I'm Wendy. store or quiet i'm in the middle of a vision beast battle of wills so it's a staring contest it's not just a staring contest it's a <gasps> nice try mcduck but your family bickering will never get me to look away never it's a staring contest excuse me this area of the duckburg billionaires club is only for our elite members the creme de la creme the finest ducks in duckburg <gasps> Is that? Yep. Old guys, nice clubhouse you've got here. Got a real I'm so rich I don't care how I look quality about it. Rich peeps! I'm tagging us. I'm sorry, who are you? Seriously? Mark Beeks? Founder and CEO of Waddle? <laughs> Soon to be newest addition to the Duckburg Billionaires Club! Come on! And creator of the newest tech innovation, Project Tada. It's everything you think it is and nothing you're expecting. I'll flip you my peep deed so you can follow my updates. I do understand half those words. Whoa, weird. I wouldn't have thought you successful guys would be so behind the times. Allow me to take you to the future. <laughs> Remix! <laughs> Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it! Oh! That was Mark Beeks! He's right in there! Oh man, I'm almost breathing the same air as him! Oh, ingenuity. Come on! Like I couldn't be a young, influential business guy? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, you were serious? It's just. You're more the crazy, irresponsible, fun guy than the serious, brilliant, successful guy. You don't know. At least I'm not the guy who just reads about people who do stuff guy. I could be a bigger deal than Beaks in three years tops. I'll pay for that in three years. I am very sorry. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg.
Keep making that money, y'all. See you in $2 million and counting. Stuck up old money duddies. Don't even have a social media presence. Mr. Beaks, <laughs> I'm Dewey, future astronaut president, and- Can you sign this? You're my hero and a genius! Genius? You too! I like how much you like me, that show's real smart! Come by the offices and I'll hook you up with a tour. Maybe even an after-school job? Pew 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 pew! Pew! Pew pew pew! You mean it? Sure, why not? Amazing sauce, I'll text you. Internship starts manana! Ah, uh, it! Uh. What? Did you say something? I was just grumbling! Well, do it louder! Then it's not grumbling! God, I hate this music! We've got to do something about new guy! I never have loose pie! No, new guy! Oh, agreed! Let's get rid of him! Great, now I want pie! Wait, no! Ha! See you tomorrow, Flinty! Let's see. Can do attitude? Check. Professional posture? Check. Completed checklist? Check. Wow, I can't believe we get to be interns at Waddle for Mark Beaks! Yeah, I'm mostly doing it to show off this bad boy. What is that? Oh, this? It's my super serious business briefcase. What brilliant business secrets is he hiding in there? Who knows? You can't open the lock, can you? Nerp. Welcome to Waddle where imagination and innovation get married and have babies. Digital high five app, so you never get left hanging or you know, have, have to touch anyone. Come, roll with beaks. Here are the high impact trampolines, the low impact trampolines, and of course, the no impact trampolines. Those are fun. Slides are the new stairs. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. If by cool, you mean statistically proven to increase employee productivity, <laughs> this guy. Oh, before you ask? Yeah, it's all made of candy. You're welcome. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Who knew work could be so awesome? Mark Beeks did. Blammo. He talks the way I want to live. Here are your official Waddle trainee beanies. Congratulations, weenies. Oh, P.S. There's only space for one intern, so one of you is going home by the end of the day. Cool, cool. Beeks out. One internship? Well, <laughs> you didn't really want it anyway, so I'll just tell Mr. Beaks to give it to me. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Sliding my way to billions, licking other people's stuff, it's everything I never knew I always wanted. I am in. This is about more than just goofing around. Whee! You're doing it wrong. This is supposed to be efficient, not fun. Wee! <laughs> I'm about to be a billionaire. And when Scrooge tries to follow me online, I'll block him. Man, you are killing it today, Beaks! Sir, you can't go in there. <laughs> Stop right there! Ew, no, no, neat! No. <laughs> Mr. Beaks, allow me to introduce myself. Falcon Graves, professional corporate saboteur and- Professional is right, man. That suit game is on point. <sighs> As I was saying, unfortunately for you, I've been hired to steal your coveted project to Dodd. What are you doing? I'm just updating my status to hostage. I feel like this could be huge for my online presence. Oh, uh, were you not done with your speech? Get me to research and development. Hey, let him go! Immediately. Top that lunch at all! I already tried! It's impossible! Well, how is I supposed to know the on button and the off button are the same button? Did you sleep here last night? Don't be ridiculous. Who can sleep when you're plotting against a nemesis? That cocky Mark Beaks may be the only man I hate as much as you. I know the feeling. So now I propose we get rid of him. Do we really need a slideshow? <laughs> Sweet, naive Scroogey. Leave the devious planning to the professionals. You're in my world now, McDoc. All right. Show me what you've got. No, you're actually on my side of the room. Ooh, task list! This is a place of dreams! Oh, I don't know, Dewey. This looks like a whole bunch of boring business guy tasks. You're not really equipped to handle them, so... And lose this internship to you? No way! This place has free snow cones. Free snow cones. 
Ah, thank you for calling Waddle. Please hold. Thank you for calling Waddle. Please hold. Please hold. Waddle. Yup. Yup. Yeah, no, I, I totally get it. I hate talking on the phone, too. So that's why I kick my feet up. I'm leaning back. Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, um, business man? Ning -ton son? Oh, you just missed him. Okay, one sandwich cut diagonally with no crusts, no pickles, but yes to pickles on the side, so you can decide which pickles to use. I got pizza! Everybody loves pizza! New guy! New guy! But I'm also new the new guy. guy. There's the high-impact trampolines, the low-impact trampolines. Mr. Beeks, is the tour really necessary? Listen, Graves, if we're gonna keep this hostage stuff on the DL, I gotta act natural. And naturally, I give tours of my awesome company! Must I wear the hat? You bet. All trainees gotta wear the hat. And you are a trainee, right? Boop! Complimentary snow cone? Oops, you dropped it. Here's another. How about blueberry? Ah, good call. That one stains your mouth forever. Look, see? Ah. You do realize you're in quite a lot of danger right now. <laughs> I know! I'm gonna be trending online for days! Hostage selfie! <laughs> Backup phones. Mm. Excuse me, Mr. Beeks. I just tagged us together. Sup? Mr. Beeks, here's my completed, color-coded, and categorized checklist. I even made subcategories for... I ordered everybody pizza. So who would you say is in the lead for the internship? Hmm? Oh, uh, I guess you're tied. <laughs> oh, mandatory dance break! <laughs> woo woo! Uh, And lo, he shall pay for his arrogance as his world crumbles around him, and Beaks will rue the day he heard the name Flintard Glumdod! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Scrooge McDuck, I guess. Oh, are you finished? Um... What? Every evil plot starts with a declaration of hatred speech! Oh, you have so much to learn. Great! Uh, now, can we talk about the actual plan? I thought you'd never ask. I asked several hours ago. Behold! Our scheme to destroy Bakes begins with an invitation to a billionaire's convention on a yacht. We'll tell them we're going, but then we won't show! First slam! Seems unnecessary, especially the part about the yacht. Emotionally devastated, Bakes will seek solace and drown his sorrows at the buffet! A yacht and a buffet for one person? I'm not paying for that. Fine, we'll use my yacht. Now, distracted by delicious shrimp, Beaks won't realise he's being sailed into an active volcano where it'll get so hot he'll jump into the yacht's pool, which, unbeknownst to him, will be filled with sharks! Where did the sharks come from? I've got a great shark guy. Beaks will be so terrified by the sharks, he'll forget he's in a volcano and jump blindly into the lava! All while we watch from a bridge above. Wait, wait. I thought we wanted to boot him out of our club, not kill him. Although you have tried to kill me countless times, which usually ends up being more annoying than deadly. That's right, I'm a genius. Now pay attention, because this is where it gets complicated. <sighs> Listen. I got your most important task yet, getting my 215 artisanal cold-pressed coffee. Now, I want almond-infused foam. Not almonds in my foam. Infused foam. Understood? Copy with stuff! Got it! You don't even know where it is! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here's another XL Waddle t-shirt, a bunch of Waddle yo-yos, and a Waddle jetpack. Don't try it, it's super broken. Biggs! Coffee! A winner! Oh, I... Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, why am I getting my 215 coffee at 214? I didn't get an email about it moving up. Hello? Hello? Just take the coffee. I didn't become an almost billionaire by having coffee at random times of the day like some commoner. There's an order to things. My order! And Mr. I- Mr. Beeks, I have your 215 coffee at exactly 215. Ooh, yummy. Man, things got real for a second back there, right? How is this not very real? Yeah, 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 one sec. Kid, what's your name? Huey, sir. Ooh, don't love it. 
How about brand new Waddle intern, Huey? Ha <laughs> Achieve dream. Check. Oh, now can we finally get to Project Tada? Whoa, is that an ironically fancy briefcase in my super chill work environment? Uh, yes? What's going on in there? Like, brilliant business secrets? You know it! Very chill. Oh, I like how you roll. You are my new vice president of fancy business. Intern, you report to him now. Boom. Beaks out! What? Yes! Faked it, maked it! I didn't even know this was my life's dream until today! But, but, how did I win and still lose? I worked so hard and had so many completed checklists! Do you need me to get a briefcase? Cause I can go get one and then become the vice president of being chill. Cause I'm chill. I'm straight chilling. Like a villain even. Oh no, Huey's broken. Or I could be chief manager of being broken. Cause anyone can just be anything. Look at me everybody, now I'm the duke of making a mess. Yeah. This is a... Watch out for the duke. Mr. Beaks, is everything okay? Ugh, oh, this again. Oh, I missed that last punch. Could you prop him back up and do it again? No more games. You're all my captives now. You, Vice President, take me to Project Tada. Yes, of course. Sure. Uh, um... Seriously? It's that way. It's that way. Of course it's that way. Sorry, it's my first day, but it, well, let's go this way. Welcome to the cutting edge of the latest technology. See that in the air? What is that? It's called magic. Open the vault. Now. Ugh, fine. I'll finally take you to Project Tada. Blah! Ugh. Menacing man, small children, prepare yourselves for my greatest invention. What? Nothing? Everything you think it is, and nothing you're expecting. You got the nothing part right. So Project Tada is a hoax? Tada! I build hype for a fake product. Everyone invest in my company. Kablam! I'm a billionaire. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm calling my employer. Go for beaks. <sighs> Got to be kidding me. Why would you hire me to steal something that doesn't exist? So he gets to say Project Tada was stolen, but he still keeps the money. See, fancy business gets it. Why actually put in the hard work of inventing something when I can just tell everybody I did? Fake till you make it, right? And become a billionaire! Ba bam Just cross the mark! Oh, count them zeros! One, two, three, four, five! Blah, I'm bored, you get it. And it's all thanks to you, bud. Get over here, Selfington! I can't believe I looked up to you. You and your whole company are as fake as Project Tada. Maybe, but the money and the buzz are very, very real. I just got so many followers. <laughs> Gravesy, there's a helicopter waiting for you on the roof. You know what? Keep the beanie. I do not like being lied to. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Where are we going? To the roof. So I can toss you off it. Oh, who loves being a part in my twisted evil plots? You? Yes, you do. <laughs> Why on earth should we ever need this? Well, how else is Beaks going to know he's at the annual Carrot Festival? You clearly didn't understand the plan. Let's start from the beginning. Behold! Our... No! Backstabbing Scrooge version 3 was... What's this? <gasps> oh, it's nothing! This whole thing is a trap for me, isn't it? What? No! Of course not! Your new best friend would never! Not stay right there! Uh, thank goodness you moved at the last minute, or you would have been destroyed by the axe! How long have you been planning that one? More than six months. I don't want to say. Can't believe I wasted the whole day obsessing over someone I don't like, and it nearly got me killed! Who am I? You? Oh, have fun with your new nemesis. I'm gonna go beat you both by actually being a better billionaire. <laughs>
help. Project Tada was stolen, and now I'm going to be tossed off the roof. Oh, should I have a sad face, or is that too much? <sighs> oh, ground. Dude, not cool! That's my last backup phone! Just stop! Huh. We gotta save Beaks, right? I mean, he's the worst, but it's the right thing to do. Why? I'm sure your biggest favorite friend will just fake his way through it like everything else. Okay, first off, that's not what BFF stands for. And secondly, guys like him, guys like me, we have to put on a show and fake it because smart guys like you are so good at making it. We don't need this. What we need is a checklist. In fact, here's a checklist for how to get through this. One, get a plan. Two, ask Huey for a plan. Three, do you have a plan yet? Because honestly, I don't know how checklists work. I got it. Hey, Graves, over here! What? This is dumb, I hate this plan. Ha-ha, I win! Oh, gross, your dumb fingerprints smudge my screen. Now go be Dewey! Ah, take this and all of these! Time out! We have to take off these stupid hats. It's humiliating. Time in! Yeah. Dewey, whatever you do, do not tell Graves what's in the briefcase! What is in the briefcase? Oh, this briefcase? Just a bunch of fancy business secrets. Very hush-hush. You see the lock? Give me that. What's the code? Try 1111. No. Okay, 2222? No. Right, of course not. 3333. Three, three, three. Oh, no, you're just guessing. Uh, have you tried the factory default? Of course I have. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. And I'm untagging myself from all those photos. <laughs> That's got to be $20 million. Where did you get a briefcase full of money? Next to the suit of armor in the billionaire's club. That place needs better security. Sub over here. Um, we saved your life. Right. Hey, so obviously I have to fire you guys because you know the secret of Project Tada. And if you tell anybody, I'll just say you're lying because you're mad I fired you. Cool? Cool, cool. My face looks like a butt. And the scent? Seriously? That's your big plan? Who even cares about what... It already has a thousand likes. What? No, no! I can't delete it now! Give it back! Give it back! Oh. Crushed that fall! Ah, oh, man. Letter for billionaire Mark Beeks. Uh huh, that's me! Ooh, an invite to a billionaire's convention on a yacht. Awesome town, population Beeks. <laughs> I still get to be a Duckburg billionaire. And everything that comes with it. Get the sharks ready. <laughs> killed anyone. Statistically speaking. See? Nothing to worry about. What about that flashing red light? Huh? That's just probably the everything is fine light. Okay, but hypothetically, what if it's the everything is not fine light? <laughs> oh, no! Where are we? 
According to the JWG, we're off the tip of Greece. And wait, this can't be right. I thought it was a myth. What? What is this place? Ithaquack. What? Get this plane in the air! Sorry, Mr. McD. Gotta figure out what this flashing light means. I always say, better safe than whatever the opposite of safe is. Yeah, I do say that. When have you ever said that? Hmm, might as well take a look around. Yay! Yay! Yeah! Everyone stay on the plane! <laughs> Get back here! See ya! Let's go Bye -bye. We're here! We did it! Yeah! Wait, why do we do that? Dewey, this is Ithaquack. I'm sorry? Home of legendary Greek artifacts. The uh, Greek, uh, uh, what? Like the Spear of Selene. Selene! I knew it! My mom's note to Scrooge said she took the Spear of Selene. If we can find the spear... Maybe we'll find out what happened to her and uncover Scrooge's greatest mystery. To the Naos! That's Greek for temple. Okay, stop assuming I know things. Like baseline, assume I know nothing. Life is like a hurry. What could be dangerous about a beautiful Grecian vacation island? Oh, glorious day! May the fates sing of your return, friend Donald, sailor of the seven seas! Hiya, buddy. <gasps> Be these colorful creatures your kin? By Hephaestus's hammer, half-grown heroes in the making! Um, who are you? Your uncle must have told tale of Storcules, Colossus of Corinth, hero of Heliopolis, and my proudest accomplishment, best friend to Donald Duck. The Storcules of Greek legend is your best friend? Uh, to the Trojans. Ha-ha! Thine tongue be as quick and mighty as, well, me. <coughs> Donald, get the boys on board. We can't let him know we're here. Can't let who know we're here? Scrooge McDuck! You dare defy the will of Zeus? The king of the gods? Get out! Oh, so many questions. Do you control all storms or just lightning? Does being immortal also make you impervious to pain? Do you cry? <gasps> you know where I could find a good Euro? Always ask the locals. The myths are real! This place is amazing! It used to be amazing until Scrooge and his mortal riffraff showed up and ruined it! What? Dear Scrooge, I've taken the Spear of Selene. I'm sorry, Della. We're close to the truth. I can feel it. What if my mom explored this very path? What if I'm literally walking in her footsteps right now? I can still smell her feet. So we know Della took the Spear of Selene and betrayed Mr. McDuck and Donald. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't know she did something bad. That note could mean lots of things. I've taken the Spear of Selene to get cleaned. I'm sorry I spilled soup on it. I've taken the Spear of Selene back to the store. I'm sorry you already had one. Happy birthday! Ooh, or I've taken the Spear of Selene from your money bin. I'm sorry I betrayed your trust. Or, or probably one of your things. <laughs> the only way to know for sure is in the Temple of Heroes. Of heroes? <laughs> Pretty good sign my mom wasn't a traitor. 
Ithaquack was the secret vacation spot for gods and heroes, and I was the god of hospitality. The king of the beach, everyone loved me. Then Scrooge showed up, defeated the unkillable Gorgon, found the lost treasure of Troy, was really good at building sandcastles. Blah! Seems pretty fun. Twas. No, it twasn't. Scrooge showed up like he was so cool and ruined it. Oh, Jings, leave it to an immortal to whine about the good old days. So where is everyone? They all left when you did. Said they didn't want to party with a lame god who couldn't even best a lowly mortal. There may have also been a year-long lightning storm. But now that you have returned, Storkules, Noble Donald, and his fiery sister... Halt! Where is Della? I see. Then we shall embark upon a rousing adventure to honor our fallen compatriot. I don't adventure anymore. What? But adventure is the very blood in your veins. Well, we must at least hold a feast to celebrate your return. <laughs> what? what? Father, surely the god of hospitality would not cast out a crew of weary travelers. Oh, no. I guess not. <laughs> it shall be a bacchanal for the ages. Beach party! Mm. Oh, these are the best grapes ever! A little salty? Dip not good enough for you, mortal! You offend Olympus! Maybe people didn't leave because they liked me, but because they didn't like you! Ha-ha! <laughs> Perhaps some festive beach games will lighten the mood. Yes! A contest! Your family versus mine in a series of heroic trials. Yea, all will know that we are the superior party hounds and return to the island! This is exactly why we stopped vacationing here. But guys, epic trials! Zeus! Delicious grapes! <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Woo! Ah, Careful. According to legend, the artifact in this chamber holds a terrible curse when removed from its pedestal. Of course! Scrooge must have been cursed by the spear. I've taken the spear, Celine, to decursify you. I'm sorry, I probably won't survive. She was a hero! This place is filled with booby traps. We have to be careful. If my mom can make it across, so can I. <laughs> it's okay. Shh. It's okay. We only have to do that one more time to get out. <gasps> it was all worth it to find the Sword of Selene. Wait, what? This isn't what we're looking for. Where's the spear? It's a big temple. We must have the wrong antechamber. Then we'll just have to find the right one. Nothing will stand in our way. The curse! Put it back! Put it back! Oh, I love these tunics. They're so breezy, so comfortable. And surprisingly slimming! Storkiles may have brute strength, but he's also an idiot. You lads can use that to your advantage. I believe in you all. Okay, son. If you beat Scrooge's family, I'll be back on top. Admired, respected, blindly obeyed. And why do you not compete directly against Scrooge? Well... Obviously, people would lose respect for me if I were to lower myself to his level. Uh, never mind that. To your positions! Whoever claims Aeolus's bag of wins first wins. Understood? Five or six questions is... Body mark, get set! <laughs> Done, nephews of Donald! What ingenuity! From henceforth, you shall be known as Hubert, tamer of winds, and Llewellyn, fighter of storms! Awesome! Please do not say my real name out loud! Hehe, <laughs> 
Satisfied? Doesn't count! They cheated! Best two out of three! Ha-ha! <laughs> Scrooge, I've taken the Spear of Selene to challenge the gods of Olympus, but will probably be eaten by a sea monster. I'm sorry, Della. That's a possibility. No! <laughs> You hideous monster! I will avenge my mother by killing you with the very spear you're sworn to protect! You shall never get the spear of Poseidon! I'm sorry, the spear of who now? The spear of Poseidon! And we got the wrong chamber again! We're looking for the spear of Selene! Oh! You're gonna want to go back down the hall, past the harpy aviary, third door on your left, Garden of Selene. Can't miss it. Sorry about calling you a hideous monster before. I'm sure you're very attractive by sea monster standards. Not really. Thanks, though. comes the ultimate challenge. Steal the golden fleece from this small child. This is your ultimate challenge? There's no way we're gonna beat Storkiles on this one. Steal? From a child? But if I were to do such a thing, could I ever truly be called a hero? Donald, I am in need of your wise counsel. Donald? Donald! Moon companion, Donald, where are you going? Ah, uh, yeah. You're a nice guy, but... The most nice guy, for I am Starcules, pure of... No, no, no. I'm through with adventure. Someone always gets hurt. But getting hurt is part of the adventure. What would fierce Della say if she could hear you now? Well, she can't. <sighs> Someone always gets hurt. <gasps> A perfect 1 1 25th scale replica of Ithaquack. And look! There's a tiny chimera on the hillside! It's so adorable, I just want to slay it! Focus. We're so close to solving this. The truth about my mom. And one of the greatest mysteries of Clan McDuck. So, do we look in the tiny houses, or...? Celine! What's it say? That Della Duck was a hero who died nobly trying to protect her family? Whomsoever claims the prize inside shall find great riches but incur the terrible wrath of the gods. <gasps> it all checks out! Della stole the spear, angered the gods, and brought their wrath down upon her innocent family! Which explains why Mr. McDuck and Donald didn't want to land here! Ha! <laughs> that can't be true. My mom would never do that to her family. I guess we'll find out for sure in the garden. Let's go. No. What are you doing? The door is closing! We're not going in. But all the answers we've been searching for are in there! I don't care! My mom was a hero! If I do not steal the fleece, father shall be incensed. But if I steal from a small, innocent child, how can I ever face myself again? Just grab it already! I got it! Louie! What? I'm also a little kid. It's fine. Ego. Plug your ears! No good ever came from a creepy child singing. The child is actually a mind-controlling siren. Did I not mention that? Storkiles, finish them! Uh-oh. Please, the answers are right through there! You can't stop me now! Don't have 
to. Just have to hold you up until the door closes. You wouldn't. I'll save you, Tiny Chimera! No, my fists betray my heart. Father, stop this madness! Just lay off, man. It's not my fault I best you at pretty much everything I do. Not helping. Let me through, you no good. I must apologize in advance for crushing your tiny bodies. I want you to know that as my best friend Donald's family, I consider you my second-tier best friends. Farewell! We're so close to the truth. Why won't you let us find it? Because what if my mom was a bad person? Okay. What? This is one mystery we don't have to solve. I need to know the truth, whatever it is. Hey, you're not Della. You know Della? Where is she? Please tell me she wasn't an evil family betrayer and spear stealer. Who are you anyway? Dewey, that's Selene, the goddess of the moon. Hi, I'm Webby. I heard Scrooge and his family were on the island, so I wrote a super spooky prophecy on the door to lure my friend Della. That usually does the trick. So where's the spear of Selene, Selene? What spear? The one Della took from your garden. You mean the sphere of Selene? Why does no one get what I'm saying? The spear of a Selene. I've never had a spear. Do you mean the sword of Selene? That's down the hall. No, the spear of Selene, the one my mom took, the one that's our only clue to finding her. Ah, uh, you're Della's kid. I should have realized you're just like her. I'm sorry, I haven't seen her in years, and I don't know what the Spear of Selene is. So we're back to she stole Scrooge's spear and betrayed the family then. Great. What? No way! She loved her family more than anything in the world. Oh, Della wasn't just a good person. She was the greatest, and she made everyone around her better. Maybe the spear isn't an artifact. Maybe it's something else. Your mom did love a good mystery. Here, it's not a spear. But it is a treasure even Della never found. Don't give up, young duck. Your mother never did. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, that I regret this most bitterly. <laughs> Seems like old times! Hey, lad! <laughs> we gotta stop the singing! I'm on it. What a magical voice! Do you have any idea how much money I could make on a voice like yours? Zeus just wants to use you. I want to use you to make us both rich. What do you say? You've got a deal. Great. <laughs> Donald, you have saved me! Oh, come here! Don't hug the enemy! What are you doing? The best friends. A great success! Perhaps we've been letting our pride get in the way for decades, and it's our families who suffered. What do you say? Peace? Does beating me really mean that much to you? Yes, absolutely. Ah, oh, fine. One final challenge. Winner gets all the glory. Oh, I oh I cannot believe I choked on the last round. Yes! 
I win. In your face, McDuck. I win. Say it out loud. I win. You love it. Oh, yeah. Go. I win. <laughs> You may think you're done with adventure, but it will never be done with you. You're a hero, whether you want to be or not. And that message, Shred Strutters. He called me his friend! He said it back! <laughs> this is the most glorious day of my entire life! There you two are. Right, let's get back to the plane before he comes up with another cockamamie contest. Thanks for pushing me back there. I promise I'll never stop until we find the truth. With this spear as my witness, I... Oh, no. No! The wrath of the gods. We should go now. Okay, I think I found the problem. 